Okay, I want to make a, a hat cam. Uh, I've got my new ZX5. Uh, seems to be working quite well. Uh, that's it there. You can uh, see it in the mirror. I decided to try and make a hat cam for when I'm flying one of the models or go when I'm going fishing. Um, I've got the baseball cap, as you need. Um, how to fasten the, the camera to the hat. Oh, well. When you put your uh, hole through the hat, uh, when I've been looking, uh, sort of quarter inch bolts to fit underneath, uh, say, your camera, uh, just my, my Sony, and you've obviously got the, the small quarter inch thread there. Um, I was a bit concerned about once you put it through the hat here, you know, um, how tight you're going to be able to get it without the thing whopping over. So what I was able to do is um, I found this on the internet, uh, just searching on eBay for uh, photography. And the beauty with this is it's got the double thread. Um, what I'll be doing is uh, putting a hole through and I'll be fastening the base underneath and tightening it up with the, the second thread, nipping that on the hat, and then the top thread, uh, that'll be the one that will tighten up on the camera. Right, uh, obviously we've got to make sure that the, the thread is actually centered on the uh, the cap but I would suggest getting as near to the back as possible sort of back here rather than the front here because at the front obviously you're going to have more movement at the back now with the plate I'm going to have the thread this one on the top here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that one as a guide on there I'm going to put a hole through or, or mark it where my hole is going to be so I can actually then get this thread to come up and through and then I'll be able to tighten this one down on top tight so then that's not going to move anywhere okay let's see now a pen and I've got the hat using the seam just pull it in a little bit and then yeah, let's put a little mark I don't know whether you can see that a little mark there now that's centered so uh, what I need to do now is put a hole through I don't have to have me a little uh, drill machine so excuse the noise when I try doing this um, use a bit of wood just to support underneath put on there hole okay I've got a hole in there but that hole's not big enough um, I've actually got a, another slightly wider it's all just uh... there. We go. Now whether that fits yet? No, not really. Just need a little bit more. Obviously, putting a hole through does make it ruggy. Beauty with this, you're going to have your plate. Try to now screw that in. Get that little screw into there. It's coming through. So that's pretty much tight on there. Let's get it. So that's on there. And now you've got your thread coming out the top. Now you screw that down, tighten that down, and keep that nice and tight. And there you go, that's that one. Right. So all there is really to it now uh, is place the, the second thread back on. For this purpose I'm going to swap cameras so I can put my play sport on and then you can see how that one works. Okay well there we have it, we've got the, the camera in place, I'll just tighten up that bottom thread just so it, that camera's not going anywhere. There we go, and that in theory 
is it. One camera securely mounted. Uh, right, let's uh, let's give it a go. I'll uh, turn that on. Right, well it looks like it's on and hopefully what I'm pointing at is going to be what I'm recording. So, uh, I'll go and uh, play there in the, the workshop. And at the, uh, the new SE5 when well, that gets done, um, yeah, it seems to be working. Uh, I'll give it a try outside, see what uh, what it's like in normal light. Uh, we have a low level of lower light in here, let's see what happens when I do this. See how the uh, place fault reacts with just uh, one fluorescent tube, which hopefully you can see based on the camera. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go outside. Okay.